Okay, future millionaire, this is our final video from Melbourne. Let's give everybody a run shot first. Final video from Melbourne. Very soon we're gonna go to Sunshine to pick up the car. Corey, what do you think? How was the trip for you? Amazing. Great trip. How were the dates? He went on the Tinder binge. <laughs> this boy went on a Tinder binge, yeah. Or you can eat buffet for the boy here. Wow, I think you are overfilled right now, right? Uh, you can say that. Yeah, he had enough. Let's say he had enough dates. Yeah. And do you want to say a goodbye to all the girls you encountered during this trip? Yeah, thank you everyone for the uh, experiences mm -hmm. and the learning opportunities. Yeah, that's all there is. I'm grateful for that. Yeah, let me get back in there. <laughs> okay, now Bitcoin Cash. Okay. So our original expectation was that we are here only just for literally one hour. Pick up the car and gone. Now we've been here for seven days. This is the eighth day actually. And this was the most eight, eventful eighth day of my life as well. And yours too. He is only 18, so all the Tinder swiping and dates and so on is overwhelming him a little bit. <laughs> so girls, if you see this video and find that he's irresistible, not responding quickly enough because he's overwhelmed with messages okay he's a chat this guy is a chat so don't forget that you deal with the chat the way you should deal with it gets, it gets a bit tiring yeah it gets a bit tiring but me on the other hand i don't have any tinder accounts or any online dating whatever i'm old-fashioned okay i'm a very focused person so that's all i can say and this this trip i fell in love with myself let's call it that way this is the reason i'm in good mood yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm in very, very good mood. I'm probably in the best mood I've been in the last five years. Well, that's because you're a Giga Chat. <laughs> I felt like a Giga Chat, yeah. actually, but okay. in reality, falling in love with yourself is the easy thing to do. It's the easiest thing. <laughs> I'm just a narcissist. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Okay, other than that, uh, this is literally the best trip ever in the last five years for me personally. For uh, all together, I would say we make a great team. Mm -hmm. It turns out we can travel very well together. Yeah. This is uh, something important. If you guys ever need to travel anywhere, don't go alone. Mm -hmm. Go with a buddy, go with a friend. Ideally with someone you can trust because we trust each other. We will look out for each other's back. We're brothers. And um, this way, anything happens to one of us, happens to both of us. And in this case, we both had a, absolutely the way over now. Yeah. And, and now back to Bitcoin Cash. So yesterday price went up, today price can be down. Are you concerned now? <laughs> Just a hypothetical today, question. Today the water flowed in the river, yesterday the water flowed out of the river. Are you concerned? <laughs> if I'm the river, I don't give a damn. <laughs> but if I'm the one for living out off the river from tourism, maybe. <laughs> but the truth is this, um, they, um, we, none of us right now trading. Right? We're not trading anything. In fact, if something we're going to trade, most likely we'll trade cars from now on. <laughs> it's a very profitable trade. It's actually very profitable. The car I bought, if I uh, drive home, I, I'm going to keep this car. It's, it has sentimental value to me. But if I would have sold it, I would make about $15,000 profit in the process easily. But we can do the next one. If the next good car comes up, we'll come back to Melbourne and flip more cars. Flipping cars is, I think, going to be my old new hobby. Yeah, I promise you guys, if you guys want to meet up next time in Melbourne, I'll give you a bit of advance notice. We can do a meet up here in Melbourne. How about that? Give me, give me some comments in the comment section. See if you're interested in a meet up in Melbourne. Now I'm making more and more friends in Melbourne and probably more and more enemies as well. Who knows? <laughs> um, but all in all, I can only say this is a great city. I have base here now and um, I'm very flexible. And just for the cars alone, I'll be coming back all the time. And also, this is a city where I fall in love with myself. Therefore, uh, let's say, for me, this is a better city than Paris. Let's say it that way, yeah. So, to sum up, um, what would you advise people to do if they don't care about our life instead they only care about Bitcoin Cash? What should they do? Corey, what should people do now looking at the price of Bitcoin Cash? What should they do? If you don't care about having a good life, and just care about the price, then yeah. Yes. Yes. Ultimately, honestly, guys, um, if something happens in the world, you look back. Imagine you have only one hour to live. 
Are you really remembering the prices of all the assets you had, or you remember the memories between you and your loved ones? Yeah. That's the only simple thing to calculate. I tell you sincerely, I don't give a damn about the money. I give, I, I care about memories. Memories is all that matters. Memories that last forever. Money is a sideshow. Doesn't really matter. We are human beings after all, right? Enjoy your existence as a human being. Enjoy your life. More peace, less war. No nuclear weapons, please. Putin, put down the, uh, put down the finger on the button. If this helps, yeah. So maybe Putin should fall in love with himself again. Putin, good tip. Go look at yourself in the mirror and fall in love with yourself. Yeah. Then stop bombing anybody. Stop the war. Stop the war. It's pointless. Absolutely pointless. On that note, don't press the nuclear button. Just no. think of something else. Just yeah. Just to think on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you got plenty of places you can press. <laughs> okay. On that note, have a great day. Give you guys a penny shot. Yes, Melbourne is amazingly beautiful. That's the um, station. Over there is the Crown Casino. That's where we stay most of the time. And then in the background, we have, I think it's called Eureka Towers or something. Behind that is 108. And we have the other hotel right next to that. So all in all, it was a really absolutely amazing trip. All right, on that note, bye-bye.